Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you've had a lovely weekend. My family and I went to a local parade. So Magpie USA is here in Utah and all summer long there are um, like city days. And so where we live, there is a cluster of cities. And so our city is where I live is called West Point, but then next to us is called Syracuse and the next to us is called Roy and then there's West Haven and there's so there's so many cities Hooper days and all of these so everybody has days so it's actually a very fun thing to do during the summer is to find out everybody's days and then you kind of just bounce around to all of the different parades and the different activities and it's a lot of fun so Utah really celebrates summertime and that's what we did so I hope you had a wonderful weekend as well my name is Sarah. I'm from Magpie USA. I'm actually all by myself today because Rachel is out sick, so we hope that she feels better. So I am doing the live all by myself. So if you have anything you want to ask about Magpie products, please feel free. Uh, I'm happy to answer your questions, but in the meantime, I'm going to start sharing some favorites. Now, Magpie has an extensive line of product, right? So they have gel polish and acrylic and poly gel, of course, nail art supplies galore. So sometimes it's hard to choose favorites. So today, instead of choosing my favorites, I have chosen popular products from customers. These are products that have been recently popular, that have been flying off the shelves for summertime. So I just wanted to share with you what other people are buying and things like that. Now, some of these are my favorite, which is fun, but I just wanted to touch today on some glitters that have been very popular and some foils that have been very popular. So let's get started. We're gonna start with foils. Now, summertime always brings out silver and gold, which is funny because these are popular all year round. If you don't have these in your collection, these are really good places to start with foil. So the first one is Lilian, and this is just a traditional gold foil. I wanna show you the tone of gold. Just a traditional gold foil. Transfers very easily and is fantastic for so many things. Um, our Kayla, Nail art, Nails by Kayla Joe. She recently just did an ASMR using Lilian where she put it onto the nails and uh, that was very fun to watch, very fun to listen to, to hear that crinkle of the foil. So if you haven't had a chance, go find Nails by Kayla Joe, and you'll be able to see what I mean. So also the design was fantastic. The next one would be, hi from the UK. Hello, hi, hi, hi. Thank you for joining. The next one that has been so popular is the Silver Holographic. This one's called Lola Sky. And it is fun to add to fireworks, which are very popular for nail art. Um, of course, adding it wherever on the nail. We actually use this one all year round here at the salon. Our clients love to get glitter tips. And what that means is to take all of the different metallics and you just randomly put them all across the tip. So paint on a layer of forget-me-not so that it's just a sheer nude base. And then you would go in with the different metallics and then we just tap that right onto the tip, just the tip area. And those are very, very popular, especially in the spring. And uh, usually in November when people are like, what do I do on my nails? Or in January when they're like, Christmas is over, what do I do on my nails? So foil is a very easy thing uh, it's very quick nail art in the salon. Uh, the next ones that have been popular are animal print. These haven't been popular in a minute, but of course summertime brings back all of the animal print, which is always fun. So we have Leo, which is this gold, are we gonna say it's leopard print, jaguar print, some sort of animal print, super cute. Let's go with leopard, Leo, leopard, right? But then we have this one, so cute, this is called Rory, and this is a very small version, very more realistic version. I also love the ombre effect of it because when you use this as a full foiled nail, then it's very fun to get like the contrast of color. It's a lot of fun. Then we have a personal favorite. This one is my favorite, it's called Monty. I remember when this first came out, my daughter, she was 14 at the time, she was like, I want snake skin. So we put these on her nails. Now this particular one has a 
uh, it doesn't have a sheer background, right? So it's, you can't see through it. <coughs> Excuse me. So I, at first I had put this on a color, but then you couldn't see through it. So instead, I didn't waste my time next time. I just put it over clear. So this one doesn't have a sheer, but if you want there to be a sheer background, then you would go with, I want to say it's Kenny. Oh, oh, it's Ronnie. Ronnie. And Ronnie is a snakeskin that goes from green to red, back to green. So it's very cool. So snakeskin, very fun. Then we have the two very popular tortoise shells. We have Raphael and Michelangelo. Donatello is also very popular. All three of these are different torties. So this would be called a blonde torty. This would be called your deeper torty. And Donatello fits somewhere in between. But lately, these two have been very popular. Again, this one is Raphael and this one is Michelangelo. And when you pair these, so there are a few different tutorials um, going around using those to make torties, but they pair really nicely with the jellies, either the yellow, the brown, or the orange, and it will give you just the deepest, richest, best, fastest tortoise shell design ever. So those are a lot of fun. All right, the last three that have been very, very popular lately, Elmo, one of my very favorites. These came out in the spring this year. Doggone, Elmo so cute. These, this is the pastel foils. And uh, Elmo is just this creamy pastel orange. Mm, she's so cute. She, he. Uh, then we have Trevor, which is a beautiful floral. This does have a sheer background. So you would be able to put this over, say, a lavender color or over a sheer color if you wanted there to be no color behind. And then the very most popular is Zach. This one is always popular, has been popular since the day it was released. Zach is this comic book pop art, so fun. Trying to get it to focus for you. Super, super cute and very easy. Uh, this one especially is for a full foil nail. So let's talk about that real quickly. We have two different foil gels. The first one is called Get Foiled. Get Foiled is our, our original foil gel and it is a two minute cure, but it is going to produce an abstract foil design. So that means that to get a full foiled design, you would have to do multiple layers. It isn't meant to take on the entire um, foil, but if you wanted it to be a full foil design, then you would use our product called Full Foiled. It is a 60 second cure. It is very, very sticky and you would place that foil on, ease it onto the nail just by rubbing very gently. You don't have to scrub very hard. You're gonna rub that on gently. And then once you have noticed that like the edges have uh, released from the paper, you just pull the paper off and voila. Now my tips for full foiled are, do not use full foiled unless you are going to do a full foiled design or unless you're going to cover all of full foiled. That video that I mentioned, Nails by Kayla Jo did, she painted on a design and then she put the foil just where she painted it. That works. However, don't paint on the full nail and then just do, say, the tips. Because full foil is very sticky and it just wants to like push the top coat and the layer underneath apart. So it will, pe it will peel apart. So just be careful, be aware uh, that wherever you put full foil, you need to cover that with foil. My second tip is that if you're going to have it on the free edge, just give that a quick little buff, just like you would with chrome, and then top coat and make sure that you seal that free edge and everything will be a-okay. So Full Foiled is a great, great product. All right, moving on. The next thing is Rachel back here, you can see all of our beautiful glitters. She has put those in rainbow order. So it's always fun uh, and very easy to find the color that we're looking for. So what I did is I went through each and every color and I chose out the popular ones. So here we go. First ones are the whites and flossy. Gorgeous foil. It has, it is an iridescent chunky foil and it reflects pink and blue. It's fantastic over blues, corals, oranges. It's fantastic over whites. It's going to give this incredible iridescent sheen. I love flossy. One of my top favorites is flossy. Next up are the silvers, Terra. This is a classic glitter. This is a chunky version of a holographic silver. If you wanted a fine version, you would go with Lola, but if you wanted it to be intensely holographic, you would go with Dottie. But I think everybody needs a holographic silver in their collection, absolutely. 
Okay, moving on. Now blacks are hard, right? Because black glitter, everybody's always looking for a black glitter, but black glitter, when you top coat over it, the color fades away because we've put it over a dark color. So then it just doesn't have any shimmer to it. So black glitter is tricky. So sometimes it has a little bit of brown in it, maybe some blue in it, or some holographic so that it will still have a sheen when you top coat. So the one I've chosen is Sparrow. It's from the Terrazzo collection and it is very cool. It has different colored shards in there. You can see it actually almost looks like shell pieces. There's purples and browns and blues, even some pinks in there. So it is a very cool option for a black glitter. Next up is red, my one of my top favorites. This one has been wildly popular due to the patriotic holidays coming up. I love, love, love this glitter. This is called Valentina. Mm. It's almost like a holographic red. Do you see that kickback of that color and the shine on it? It's absolutely stunning. I love Valentina so very much. So far, I think I've chosen all chunky glitters, but don't worry, there are some finds coming up. But Valentina is absolutely stunning. When you pair this with Scarlet, which would be the fine glitter, oh, she, that is some depth and dimension there. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, next up is Rose. She is a holographic rose gold. Beautiful color. Very, very popular in the fall especially, but this year muted tones have been very popular. And so she has been flying off the shelves. Next are the pinks and this one pairs really well with Faith. So Faith is a supercharged holographic, one of the most popular. So the most popular glitter that we sell is called Amelia and she is a holographic champagne glitter. Next would be Faith is the next popular and she is a supercharged holographic muted pink like a I wouldn't say dusty, but she's not like bright pink, as you can see. Now, the one that has been wildly popular right now is Lottie, which is the uh, chunky version of Faith. Aren't those pretty? <sighs> love them. Love, love, love. Okay, next up is Flora. I love summertime because it brings out all of these corals and oranges and things like that, especially on toes. And Flora fits perfectly in with all of those colors. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now this one is iridescent. So if you were to put this over black, you're going to see gold, which means that you have a lot of options. So if you were to put this over a darker color, it's going to have more of what it reflects. If you're gonna put it over pinks or oranges or even yellows, it's going to have more of that orangey hue. And it is so pretty. Next up is Constance. I really did choose all the chunkies. Actually, customers are choosing all the chunkies right now. So. Next up is Constance. If Rachel was here, she'd be telling you this is her favorite. She talks about the Once Upon a Time collection, I feel like every month. So the Once Upon a Time collection includes Constance. Uh, this one is absolutely stunning. I actually just made a video of her last week. So I have this watch right here, but she is very beautiful. Right here, I've put her over Georgia, which is one of the new gel polishes from the American Summer Collection. and. She's just a beautiful glitter. Then we have Ariel. Ariel is a peacock green, but it does have that holographic blue in it, as you can see. Oh, so good. Ariel, Mwah. so, so pretty. Next up for the blues would be Brooke. Brooke is an oldie but a goodie. And sometimes she gets lost in the mix, but her iridescent sheen is just stunning. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, the one you said I couldn't have on my nails because it would make me look like Ronald McDonald. That was only because, so that's my daughter who just said that. She, we're going to Disneyland and she wanted uh, red and yellow, but red and yellow looks like Ronald McDonald, right? So instead we did red and orange. So she has Winnie the Pooh and Tigger nails, which are very fun. Are we having a 4th of July sale? We are not having a sale, uh, like a percentage off, but we are offering free shipping. Um, I'm glad that you asked about that. There will be an email going out about it. So if you haven't joined our email list, please be sure to go to the website or on the app and sign up for that so that you'll be notified 
all of the details for the free shipping that we are going to be doing. So next up, this one out of all of the ones I pulled probably has the biggest space in my heart. It is so good. So, so good. If you could see this out in the sunlight right now, you would be like, oh, oh my gosh. Her name is Livy. This is one of the original Magpie glitters and you can see it's holographic. And that purple hit, oh, this color is, oh my gosh. Like it's mesmerizing. I, I think people love or hate purple just like they love or hate orange, but I haven't met anybody who doesn't love Livy. It is the perfect tone of purple that isn't too lavender, isn't too dark. Uh, it goes well over any color glitter. And because of that holographic punch, it is like diamonds when you go outside and then your toes are just sparkling or your fingernails. Incredible. Livy. Yes, yes. This one is a must. Must have. Now the last one is, I told you about um, Amelia. Amelia is our most popular glitter ever. However, she has an even more holographic sister. Her name is Mimi. And Mimi, look at that holographic punch. So Mimi is a champagne holographic. This one is a supercharged holographic. So that just means that the aura, the ring of rainbow is even more intense. So Amelia is the original and then Mimi is the supercharged. Fantastic, look at that. Can't get enough. Pair this one with Livy. Ooh, and we've got a major winner. <sighs> Delicious, fantastic. Okay, so that rounds out all of the current customer favorites in the foil and the glitter sections of the website. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you. And until next week, I hope you have a fantastic week and thank you for joining me. Bye. Actually, we won't be here next week because it is 4th of July, so I wish you a very happy holiday. And then we will be here the following week. So, see you then. Bye.